Hey, what's going on guys? It's Stubbs here and welcome back to another video and this is going to be something a little bit different because I don't really do these type of videos. I've done like one of them in the past before which was, you know, talking about what Modern Warfare 3 should have that Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops didn't have or something like that. But uh, basically this is one of those videos where I want to talk to you guys about what I want to see in Gran Turismo 6, you know, that Gran Turismo 5 either doesn't have or Gran Turismo 5 has and it's shitty and it, it needs to be changed. So I'm going to be talking about that in this video. So. Let's get started. First of all, in the background, you're watching me play some Gran Turismo 6 demo or GT Academy 2013. Uh, I'm driving the GTR N24 Scholes Motorsport, and then I'm also driving the the 370Z GT Academy Edition. So um, yeah, you guys are gonna see both of those, you know, going around the track while I'm talking. So anyway, um, first of all, they did say that they're going to include a better customization system, so we should be able to be, you know, to modify cars and customize cars a little bit more than we were able to do in Gran Turismo 5, which I'm pretty excited about. But I just hope it's so much more than just adding, you know, different like they, you know, it's. I hope they just add more and more and more because I really don't like having like a limited amount of wheels that you can choose from you know they they do have their own like names but seriously in Gran Turismo 4 they have their own brand that you can go and click in and you can do that which I absolutely love that you know that was so so good and they actually give you a variety of wheels to, to choose from even though the customization in the game was you know not exactly better than Gran Turismo 5 but it was better you know the, the wheel selection was so much better than Gran Turismo 5 actually but uh, I'm just saying, you know, more customization would actually keep, you know, people playing Gran Turismo 6 and keep them more occupied. They, they're they trying to make their cars look a little nicer and, and stuff like that. So I feel that customization is going to play a big part in Gran Turismo 6 if they actually decide to make it, you know, decent and actually worthwhile. Uh, another thing, they said that they're going to bring out DLCs every single month of tracks and or um, cars. So basically, every single month there's going to be something new on the PlayStation Store. DLC, if you guys don't know, is downloadable content. Which means, you know, they're going to bring out, you know, a new track or something that you're able to purchase or download for free. It, I don't know yet because there's different ways or different types of of things you can download for free and different types of things you can, you know, buy from the PlayStation Store. So, uh, we'll see what they do with that. But, uh, again, they said that they're going to have, have new ones every single month. So, that's kind of exciting to, to see that they're actually going to keep us... Um, you know on our toes and give us new stuff every single month so new cars and new tracks and stuff like that That's pretty awesome Another thing I'm pretty excited about is that they did say that they're going to include more premium cars and More tracks so they said that they're going to include more tracks I think there's like eight new tracks that are going to be included in the game um, And then there are going to be I think they said 200 premium cars, which is pretty cool um, they're going to include more cars in the future, as I said previously, with the DLCs. So they're going to constantly keep adding more premium cars and more premium cars through the DLCs that are going to bring out every single month. But that they said that they're going to um, basically upgrade a few cars from standard to premium, and they're going to also um, add more premium cars to the games, you know, to the game as it's released, and then also again through DLCs. So we're going to have to see a lot more premium cars. Um, hopefully everything should be much much nicer. One other thing I'm very very excited about is the driving physics. I love that in, in Gran Turismo 6, the demo, it's really really awesome. They decided to give the car a little bit more body roll, the suspension is a little bit more loose. And then obviously when you're driving these like track cars like the, the 370Z or the GTR that you saw me drive a little earlier. Um, basically those cars are much, you know, much stiffer, they're much lower to the ground. You know, um, they're much more planted on the on the track when you're driving them around. So it's it makes sense. You know, those are properly tuned cars for the track, so they should be much stiffer on the track. And it's you know they're they're much better planted on the track, which is really really awesome. But when you're driving something completely stock, you know, there's a bit of body roll. You know, there's there's some some areas where you you roll too much or whatever. Your car starts to slip. I don't know. I really like the driving physics in Gran Turismo 6. And now the last thing that I want to talk about is. Uh, the sounds. Now, we all know that Gran Turismo 5 sounds are pretty shit, and um, now they're not all bad, okay? So there are a few sounds in Gran Turismo 5 that are quite decent, they sound okay, but there's none of them that sound like absolutely insane and absolutely amazing because they all sound pretty shitty, to be honest. And um, I think that in Gran Turismo 6, because they said that they're going to try and improve the sounds with a new sound engine, which they're working on apparently right now, um, so... I am going to be pretty excited about that. Hopefully, it's something good. Hopefully, it doesn't flop over on them and, like, you know, it turns out to be completely shit. Um, but I am very, very excited for the new car sounds. And hopefully, 
as I said, they're going to be really, really good and not uh, and not a big fail again. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Uh, if you guys have anything to add to that list that I've made in this video, uh, please leave it down in the comments. I'd like to see your guys' uh, opinions on you know what you guys want to see in Gran Turismo 6. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I will see you guys later.